going to console I start by new 3D structure you can choose either electromagnetic wave frequency domain EMW or EWFD it doesn't matter actually and study this and for the general studies I choose eigenfrequency I keep the lens unit in meter because I will do everything normalized to some length so you don't need to worry about this one here and the first thing I will do is to define the parameters so I have uh, the unit cell that is vector lens A I keep it one meter for example I have R which is the radius of the sphere and it was A divided by square root 8 but as I told you if I choose this value of R the spheres will be touching and console will take so much time in solving such a problem so I multiply it by some factor 0.95 for example here then I define this small parameter k which will span all the wave vectors on the edges of the brilliant zone to start to be zero initially doesn't matter and this is all parameters actually I have right now the next thing is to go to definitions and in this definition I will show you how to implement this k here such that k from 0 to 0 0.7 I get XU band and so on so in definitions we right click on it and choose functions and from functions choose interpolation for the label here doesn't matter but I will call it kx and for the function name this is actually what will you use to call your function so this function is kx and has argument of t what I will do here is in this t argument I list all the values of the edges of this k parameter so 0 0 0.707 1.902 3.657 0 0.346 before filling this part here I duplicate this one for the ky and duplicate another one for kz so ky ky kz you actually don't need to have the label and the function name the same you can call this one uh, whatever whatever you want so in kx here I will keep this t representing the small Param the, the parameters small k, the parameter is small k so when k from 0 to 0 0.707 I have the band x u so I should know how k x change from when it k changes from 0 to 0 0.707 and to do this I go to the definitions of k x here and I look for the x point 0 is similar to x here as you see here 0 is x so for the x point I have kx of 0 for the y u point I have kx by divided by 2a and so on for the l point I have kx by divided by a for the gamma point I have kx 0 for the x point again it has 0 for the w point x is by divided by a and finally for the k point x is 3 times by divided by 2a so 
in this interpolation function here, when I plot it, for example, it has some parameter on the horizontal axis. And the, the y-axis represent the function value kx at the argument on the horizontal axis. So what I will do is to call this function with the argument small k I already defined in the parameters to spam all the kx here. Actually, this is a much easier way to define your reciprocal lattice edges of the Prelian zone compared to the previous videos. And you can apply in any kind of uh, dimensionality, either it's 1D, 2D, 3D. I will do the same for KY here. Also, I will do this for KZ. KZ actually is all zeros except at the point L. So the second point here is pi over A. And also at the point at the point um, U by divided by 2a so sorry it's at you you defy, def, def, defined by pi over 2a and l at the third and defined by pi over a and all other values are zero you can plot also this function to see how KZ changes over the ages of the Prelian zone. So by creating this interpolation functions, I already know that when I call the function KX with this small argument K, I will and K make K changes from 0 to 7.346, I will uh, sweep all the wave vectors on the prelian zone. Now let's go to the geometry to create this conventional, uh, to create this primitive unit cell here. And actually this is a kind of hexagonal shape but uh, with different orientation and console actually makes it very easy to have some sort of shapes like this. You can go to this hexahedron and choose it. You will find that also it had this indices. And what I will do, I just uh, type this parameter here. And when you build this one, you see that it already has this primitive cell we already defined. We know that at each vertex of this shape, we have a sphere of radius r. So I go to sphere and create eight of them 